Assalamu alaikum and welcome to all my English 1 students. For today's English lesson, we'll be looking at the topic Malaysian Ringgit. Ataupun Ringgit Malaysia. As always, with me, Mr. Aizil. Before we begin, let's try to remember all the numbers that we have here. Sebelum kita mula, jom kita cuba ingat semua nombor yang ada dekat sini. The first one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Good job! Now let's say again. Jom kita sebut sekali lagi. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Very good! Now the next number is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 Good! Now let's repeat Jom kita ulang 10 10 20 20 30 30 40 40 50 50 60 60 70 70 80 80 90 90 Very good Next, let's learn about coins Ataupun shilling We call these coins as cents Kita panggil shilling-shilling ni sebagai sen dalam bahasa Melayu Untuk bahasa Inggeris, kita sebut cents The first one is 50 cents ataupun 50 sen 10 cents 10 sen 20 cents 20 sen 5 cents 5 sen Let's repeat Jom ulang 50 cents 20 cents 10 cents 5 cents Very good These are coins Ini adalah shilling-shilling Now, we're going to look at banknotes Ataupun wang kertas For banknotes, they are called ringgit Untuk wang kertas, mereka dipanggil ringgit the first one is 1 ringgit ataupun 1 ringgit 5 ringgit 5 ringgit 10 ringgit 10 ringgit 20 ringgit 20 ringgit 50 ringgit ataupun 50 ringgit Let's repeat Jom ulang 1 ringgit 5 ringgit 10 ringgit 20 ringgit 50 ringgit Very good everyone Let's see which is more and which is less Yang mana lebih Ataupun yang mana kurang More means More means Lebih Less means Kurang First one here we have 50 cents Ataupun 50 sen Sebelah ni kita ada 5 cents Or 5 sen Here we see that 50 cents Is More than 5 cents 50 sen Semestinya lebih daripada 5 sen The next one here we have 10 cents Ataupun 10 sen And 20 cents 20 sen 
we know that 10 cents is less than 20 cents kurang dari 10 sen 10 lebih kurang dari 20 the next one we have 50 cents and 20 cents of course here we know that 50 cents is always more than 20 cents ingat 50 mesti lebih daripada 20 and last one we have 5 cents and 10 cents 5 dengan 10 mestilah 5 cents is less than 10 cents good job now let's practice with banknotes ataupun wang kertas the first one we have 1 ringgit and 50 cents 1 ringgit 50 cents <gasps> 1 is less than 50 1 kurang daripada 50 But remember Ringgit is more than cents Ingat ringgit lebih banyak daripada sen Ataupun lebih besar daripada sen So here we see that 1 ringgit is more than 50 cents 1 ringgit lebih dari 50 sen sebab ringgit lagi besar dari sen the next one is 10 ringgit and 20 ringgit 10 and 20 of course 10 is less than 20 10 mesti kurang dari 20 10 ringgit kurang dari 20 ringgit 50 ringgit and 5 ringgit so we know that 50 is more than 5 ringgit 50 ringgit more than 5 ringgit and the last one is 1 ringgit and 10 ringgit 1 is of course less than 10 ringgit good now let's continue Let's try to use what we have learned. Jom kita cuba gunakan apa yang kita dah belajar. Here we have a lollipop. Kat sini kita ada satu lollipop. Now, this lollipop is 20 cents. Lollipop ni 20 sen. Jadi, bila kita nak beli dua lollipop ataupun when we want to buy two lollipops, we will need Two twenty cents, dua dua puluh sen. Sebab satu sama dengan satu dua puluh sen, jadi dua lempok kita kena ada dua dua puluh sen. Now twenty cents plus twenty cents is equal to forty cents. Jadi dua puluh sen tambah dua puluh sen akan jadi empat puluh sen. Now let's practice with one lollipop and one apple. We can see here that one lollipop is 20 cents and one apple is 50 cents. So if you want to buy both, we will need 20 cents and 50 cents. To beli dua dua ni, kita kena ada 20 cents dan 50 cents. When we add 20 cents and 50 cents together, we will have 70 cents. Bila kita tambah 20 cents, dengan 50% kita akan dapat 70% jadi untuk beli satu lollipop dan satu apple kita perlukan 70% if you want to buy one lollipop and one apple we will need 70 cents what about if you want to buy two apples macamnya kalau kita nak beli two apple so for two apples we need two 50 cents one 50 cents and two 50 cents now these two when we add, bila kita tambahkan dua ni, kita akan dapat 1 ringgit Or we can use the bank note of 1 ringgit Ataupun kita boleh gunakan wang kertas 1 ringgit Jadi, 50 sen tambah 50 sen sama dengan 1 ringgit To buy 2 apples, we will need 2 50 cents 
or we can use one banknote of one ringgit to buy two apples. Jadi untuk beli dua apple kita perlukan dua lima puluh sen ataupun kita boleh gunakan satu bang kertas satu ringgit. Understand? Good. That's the lesson for today. Remember to always practice your numbers. Ingat selalu berlatih gunakan nombor. See you again soon. Always stay safe. And goodbye for today. Assalamualaikum.